Okay, now I want to sort of combine those last two things, combine the distributive law with percents to help come up with some shortcuts for adding and subtracting percents. For example, let's say a $90 jacket is 20% off. It's a pretty common problem. How much is it? What is the cost? Well, a lot of people do it this way. They say 20% is 0.2. They move the decimal place over to 0.2. Then they say 20% of 90 is 90 times 0.2, and we get 0, 18. We get the one decimal place is 18 bucks. And then they say $90 minus 18 is 72 bucks. And that's fine. And that's fine. Uh, there's even uh, a, fr a former student of mine taught me a really cool sh shortcut. She says she can do this in her head. She, you know, the cool thing is that usually when they have percentages, off discounts it's 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 ten percent twenty percent thirty percent might be twenty five percent but they're often multiples of ten well ten percent of ninety is nine all you have to do is sort of get rid of the last digit um, ten percent of 25 is 2.5, 10 percent of 60 is 6, 10 percent of 90 is 9, 20 percent of 90 is double that, 18, so you've done this in your head, and then you subtract 90 minus 18, and you get your 72. But here's how I like to think of it. What I like to think of it is, well, they're telling you that it is 20% off. And they always, they always like to talk about, oh, think of the money you saved. Nobody saved money buying a jacket. People spend money when they buy a jacket. You know, maybe you, if you spend less money, I mean, getting a discount on a jacket, I mean, unless you desperately need a jacket, you probably already have a jacket, so you're not really saving money, you're spending money. If your landlord says, hey, 20% off, now you're really saving money because you are gonna be paying that anyway. But I di digress. Here's what I think. I think 20% off is 80% on. If that makes any sense. Yeah, 20% of the cost you don't have to pay, 80% you do. And so what you're doing is, an 80% is 0. 0.8. So what you do is you do 90 times 0. 0.8, 0, 72 decimal plate, there's your 72 right away. And you might be able to do that in your head. You might think, what, 9 times 8 is 72, and so it's this is 72 bucks. Bang. So that is sort of leading up to the, the, uh, the shortcut. Let me, let me do another one. Let's say uh, the um, mass sales tax used to be so nice. It used to be 5%. It's now 6.25%. So um, what is a, let's say, $14 purchase? with tax. Oh, let's not make it 14, let's make it 34. It's gonna be more than a buck in tax. Well, what do you do? Now, some people say you take ooh, 34 times 0 0.0625, we just talked about that, and then you add the 34 bucks. This is going to be the tax, and this is the original, and when you buy something whoop de doo you get to pay for the thing and the tax at the same time. But watch this. I'm going to show you the trick. I could do this on a calculator, but let me show you the trick. The trick is, you say, well, wait a second, this is like 34 times 0 0.0625 plus 34 times 1. 
no big deal. They both have a 34 in them. You can factor out the 34. This is where that distributive property thing comes in. 34 times 0 0.0625 plus 1. And if you distribute out to double check, 34 times this plus 34 times this, that's what we get. 34 times this and by this. Right. So, again, we can, in 1 plus 0 0.0625 is pretty easy. This is 34 times 1.0625, which is kind of cute, which, you know, we can do that on a calculator, and we can do this in one go. 34 times 1.0625 is... 36.125, oh yes, they round up, they always round up, 36.13, 36.13, it's $36.13 .13 with tax, and I really like this concept, and this concept is going to pop, pop up in the next video that you're about to watch after this one. Uh, one cute thing I like about this, knowing that Multiplying by this gives you the tax. If I were to say, uh, let me, hopefully you can remember that. Um, let's say you say, um, what price is $20 with mass tax? You know, let's say you're running a store and you want it to ring up to exactly $20 with tax so that you can people just hand you a twenty dollar bill and you have to give them change or anything crazy like that well what price call the price x and what we say is x times 1.0625 because that's the thing that multiplies multiplying by one gives you the original cost multiplying by the 0 0.0625 gives you the, the tax this whole thing that will gives you your price with tax you want that to be twenty dollars and so what do you want you want x divide both sides i'll illustrate this divide both sides by 1.0625 1 1.0625 and we end up getting you die you die how much should you charge x should be 20 divided by 1.0625 which on uh, the calculator is 20 divided by 1.0625 is 1882. $18.82. So if you want to be clever and you want to sell socks, whatever, I don't know what it, what costs 20 bucks these days. You know, just not 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 what it used to be but i don't know i'm getting old i'm 40 years old back in my day you could get penny candy for a penny anyway if something is eighteen dollars and eighty two cents if you add massachusetts sales tax it will come out to exactly 20 bucks why because this number is this is 20 over 1.0625 you multiply that by 1.0625 it cancels out you just have the 20 left cool cute thing and this concept is gonna lead up to what we're gonna talk about next